Hey guys, Jeff the Nature Guy here at Zoo Montana, and you know what? It's time to break the internet, and I mean that because, well, I might just have the cutest animal we've ever seen on Animal Bites. This is Lander, the baby North American porcupine. Does it get any cuter? I'm not sure it does. Now, a couple things about porcupines, and I'm gonna go ahead and kinda let her move around a little bit and see if she wants to crawl around here. But a couple things about them. First thing you notice is that, well, is she really a porcupine? Does she have the, the, the quills on her? And yeah, she actually does. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna turn her around here, and you can really see them on the tail, and then you can see them, if I move up her fur, they're all underneath that fur, which is pretty amazing. That fur actually covers those quills and makes it kinda look like they don't have any there. Now, now, the legend is, is that porcupines can shoot their quills, but you know what? That's actually false. They can release their quills. So what that means is when she's upset, she's going to run backwards or she's going to uh, flex a muscle on her body and that's going to cause those quills to stand up. And hopefully for her, if you're an animal that wants to eat her, you're nice and close to her and then you get poked with those quills or she runs backwards at you or even whips her tail at you and then those quills, they then get stuck in your skin. And get this, it takes about 10 pounds of pressure to actually remove a porcupine quill from your skin. They have little barbs on the end of their quills, kind of like a fish hook and that's what essentially gets lodged under your skin. And if you've ever seen any of those pictures online of either people or dogs that get hit by porcupines, the whole entire face is covered. It's a very, very effective self-defense mechanism. In fact, porcupines in Africa, some of the big African crested porcupines, which can be huge, they can actually kill lions because those quills get lodged in that lion's mouth. It can no longer eat and it starves to death. So believe it or not, porcupines can actually kill large predators over time, which is just amazing. Now, if you're wondering why do we have this young lady well unfortunately she was found next to her dead mom oh it's so sad and so she came here to the zoo and we are raising her here at the zoo and she will actually be on exhibit with gable our great horned owl now these guys well they love to eat bark and maybe some uh, fruits and veggies from time to time as well and then she also gets these little what we call rodent blocks and well, they're rodent blocks because guess what? She is a rodent. They're one of the bigger rodents that we have in North America, which is just a pretty cool thing to think about. But anyway, what a cutie. We hope to have her on exhibit soon so all of you can see her. And uh, boy, she's just gonna get cuter and cuter as time goes on. So guys, until next time, I'm Jeff the Nature Guy here at Zoo Montana.